Welcome to the Preflop Access Pass. My name is Fernando, also known as Jay Nandes. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can take advantage of the Preflop Access Pass for four card players and for five card players. So this is a basic introduction to PLO Trainer. So you understand what the basic functionalities are. And I'll show you how you can improve your preflop game right away. To begin with, Below this video, you will find two links. One of them will lead to the four card trainer and the other one to the five card trainer. The four card trainer has a green felt and the five card trainer has a blue felt. So we're gonna start using the four card trainer here in this video to show you the basic functionalities. Once you open up the link, you will have to log in using the same credentials as on the PLO Mastermind page. And then you will find yourself here on this six max table. The sim that you have access to right now is the GG Poker 6 Max sim for the stakes between PLO 50 and PLO 100 at 100 big blinds. So on GG Poker, the stakes of PLO 50, PLO 100 and PLO 200 share the same rig profile and so we can combine them and create one solution. If you play any different stakes or different sites, um, you could also be using that sim if you are subscribed to the PLO Mastermind and you get an idea of how many sims are available by opening up this section over here. So you can see here, for example, six max poker stars and then having a look at all the sims at different rake structures and different stack sizes over here. But let's head back into the GG Poker sim that you have access to right now. I want to show you how you can improve your game straight away. So the first thing you want to think about is you want to navigate to whatever position you want to learn more about. Currently, we are in early position, which is why this position has this green border. And what we can do from here is we can display our range. So we're going to use this little eye icon and now load our range. So this will show how we're going to be playing. On the left hand side, we can see all the combinations we are folding and they lead up to a full free, a full frequency of 81.6%. So 81.6% of your starting hands are going to fold when you are in early position. And then on the right hand side, you can see the 18.4% counterpart that are going to race. With your mouse wheel, you can just scroll all the way down on both sides of your folding and your raising range. And in the filter below here, you can type in whatever hand you want. So let's say you have Jack 10, 9, 8. You press enter and now it filters for all the Jack 10, 9, 8 combos. On the left hand side, we can now see that the four spade combo, so Jack 10, 9, 8 with four spades is going to be a fold, as well as the rainbow combo, Jack 10, 9, 8 with all different suits. Any other suit variation of Jack 10, 9, 8 will be a race, as you can see on the right hand side. Now, one thing is important to understand just as in No Limit Hold'em, pre flop, there's no distinction between having four spades or four hearts or four diamonds or four clubs. So Jack 10, 9, 8 with four spades in this example represents all the suit variations because pre-flop, there's no strategical difference between Jack 10, 9, 8 with four spades versus Jack 10, 9, 8 with four clubs. Just as in Hold'em, there's no difference between holding Ace, King of Spades or Ace, King of Hearts. So it's an easier way to display all the monotone suited Jack 10, 9, 8 combos by just displaying it in one suit. Next thing I would recommend doing is to check our training function. For that, I'm going to just randomly choose a different note in the game tree. Let's say we're going to navigate here, fold, fold, and now the cutoff is going to raise pot and the action is up to the button. We're going to go back and display the strategy first. So the button here has three options. He can fold 80.9% of the time. He can call 10.3% of the time and he can re-raise pot 8.7% of the time. The bet sizings are predefined in PLO Trainer. So the only bet sizing for the button here in terms of raising will be pot, which is also the recommended bet sizing. So instead of just filtering hands here, again, we go back to Jack 10, 9, 8 as an example. And now we learn that the double suited hands are all going to be three betting. Again, as a reminder, here we have Jack 10, 9, 8 with hearts and spades, but they are representing any suit variation where you are double suited. So this could also be diamonds and hearts or spades and clubs. So what we can do now is removing the syntax here, we can go into a training session. A training session will be accessed with the training button right over here. So I click on this one. And what it will do is it will show me the same note I was just looking at in the exploration mode and or in the explorer mode. And we can now, uh, we get dealt random hands that we have now 
answer and have to answer now so king king six five double suited for example will be a three bet and it will show you with the green line here that this is the correct option eight five four deuce single suited will be a fold again the green line shows you it is correct ace seven deuce another three bet here we have another fold and uh with that uh, you were able to train hands in an interactive way ace king jack nine with three spades i would say is also going to be a three bet this time it is a mistake and we can see here with the orange bar that our hand was a mistake and if you want to learn about how big of a mistake it was you can look at the ev difference feature right here so here we are losing 0.08 big blinds by making this mistake which in terms of pre-flop mistakes is somewhat significant if you want to learn more about how significant your mistake is in the training you can go to the results tab over here and then just click on the icon and in here you can see based on the color that you're seeing uh, the difference in the EV difference or the size of the mistake is labeled in different colors. So if your mistake is red, then you have made a huge mistake and it's labeled as a huge EV loss. If the mistake is orange, it is a considerable EV loss. And if the mistake is yellow, it is a small EV loss. And the same thing can be said about green. So green in the dark color means it was the best decision. And green in the bright color means that this is by far the best decision. So taking any other action would be a large mistake. So these hands that we chose here and we played correctly are all uh, part of the latter. It would be a big mistake to not play these hands the same way. Now I can exit the training. And the last thing I want to show you for PLO trainer, there's a lot more to learn about, of course, uh, are the preflop categories. So at the top here, you have the two tabs between range and categories. Range will just display all the hands on top of each other like this in a listing format. And categories will bundle hands together into categories of similar characteristical strength. So for example, over here, the first category is called unpaired double suited. 9.5% of all starting hands belong to unpaired double suited hands. The strategy will, for unpaired double suited hands will be on the button against the cutoff open. 56% of those hands are folding, 15% of those hands are calling, and 28% of those hands are three betting. If you want to learn more about which hands exactly are folding, calling, and three betting, you can click this button here, the select button, and then use the filter option. And what this will do is it will filter this view into only these hands, so unpaired double suited hands. And now you can learn a smaller bracket of hands. And that is much more helpful in PLO because we are dealing here with 270,000 combos and it's difficult to learn them one by one. So it's better to categorize them like we're doing here. The same thing is obviously true for five card PLO, but in five card PLO, you have two and a half million combos. So it's even more important to work with categories. Now our categories have three different levels. You can expand those by using the arrow button. So it opens up all the unpaired double suited hands into three subcategories, ace high hands, connected hands, and disconnected hands. And here, once again, we can see the strategy right away. We can filter four hands if we want to, or we can open up the last level, which is the most granular level that we offer, which is level three. And in here, we can see hands like unpaired double suited, ace high hands with connected broadways. And as you can tell, these hands are always going to be raising. But if our hand hasn't connected non-Broadway hands, then we are actually folding some and just flatting some and not rebetting all of them. So if you want to learn more about this category, once again, you just click this filter for it. And then you can see the difference on the right hand side between the three bets and the calls in the middle and the folds on the left hand side. So with that being said, hopefully this was a helpful introduction to PLO Trainer. Use it, get better at it, train all the spots you want to become better at, and also look up hands you have played in the past to make sure you're playing well. If you want to learn more about the PLO Mastermind, there's also a link below on this page where you can learn more about the PLO Mastermind membership. And I urge you to check it out and learn more about what we have to offer. For example, in PLO Trainer, the multitude of solutions that I showed you that you currently don't have access to or the post op solutions, of course. And there is also a bunch of videos that you can get access to if you become a member of the PLO Mastermind. With that being said, I'm out for the day. This has been Jane Anders. Talk to you guys soon.